first calibration. This video will guide you through the initial calibration process with the Spider 5 sensor and software. Upon launching the software, you will be greeted with a welcome screen, which describes the four steps necessary to ensure an accurate calibration. Once you have performed the four preliminary steps for an accurate calibration listed on the welcome screen, please check them off and click Next. We will now begin the first or initial calibration. Step 1. Monitor Selection If you have more than one monitor attached to your computer, the Spider 5 software will list each display in the drop-down menu, so you can calibrate them one by one. To begin, choose the first monitor you'd like to calibrate and click Next. Step 2. Select Monitor Type Here, select your monitor type and click Next. If you are unsure which monitor type to select, use the Click to Learn More link to open the help page. This link is available for each step of the calibration process to guide you through the step you are about to perform. Step 3. Display Model Select the manufacturer of your monitor from the drop-down menu. If you do not see your manufacturer listed, please select Other, then enter the manufacturer name. Then, enter the model number and click Next. Step 4. Identify controls. Spider 5 users need to now determine what monitor controls are available for your display. You can enter your monitor's configuration menu to check which settings are available. Alternatively, you can refer to your monitor's manual to get more information. Step 5. Calibration settings. Please select the gamma, white point, brightness, and room light settings. Once you have selected the calibration settings, click Next. For your first calibration, we suggest using the software's recommended settings. To learn more about these calibration settings, select the Click to Learn More link. Step 6. Room Light Measurement Spider 5 software will now measure your room's lighting conditions to determine the correct brightness setting. To begin, ensure your Spider device is plugged into a USB port on your computer. Place the closed Spider 5 device on your desk alongside your monitor. To get a proper measurement, make sure there is no direct light shining on your monitor nor on the Spider 5 device. Click Next. When the room light measurement is complete, the software will provide a recommended room light setting. Select Accept Recommended Settings and click Next. Step 7. Placing the Spider sensor on your display. The Spider 5 device is comprised of three parts, a sensor, a lens cap, and a USB cable. First, remove the lens cap or base of the Spider. You'll see inside the top of the Spider the colorimeter sensor. To properly perform the calibration measurements, you'll need the sensor to lay flat on your screen. To attach the Spider 5 to your screen, place the Spider in the center of your monitor with the sensor facing the screen. To keep the sensor in place, drape the connecting wire over the top of the monitor and allow the lens cap to hang over the back of the monitor as a counterweight. If needed, you can adjust the length of the wire by sliding the lens cap up or down so that the sensor lies flat against the screen. To get the best fit, tilt your display back a little if needed. Once the sensor is properly positioned, click Next. Step 8. Start monitor calibration. You are now ready to perform the initial or first calibration of your monitor. The first step of the measurement will help you set the correct brightness of your monitor based on your room lighting conditions. To begin, adjust the brightness setting of your monitor to within the recommended range provided on screen. Then click Continue. And Spider 5's fully automated calibration process will begin. During the automated calibration process, Spider 5 is measuring your monitor's color output versus industry color standards. To do this, Spider 5 flashes color standards on screen, and the Spider 5 sensor measures your monitor's output in comparison. Spider 5 then maps the variation for each color and creates a unique color profile called an ICC profile for your monitor and saves it to your computer. With this unique color profile, your monitor will now display the corrected color 
based on an industry color standard such as sRGB. Step 9. Complete Monitor Calibration Once the calibration is complete, remove the Spider 5 from your monitor and click Finish. You will need to save the monitor calibration profile to your computer. To do this, either use the profile name suggested or overwrite with a name you create. Step 10. Recalibration Reminder Set a reminder to recalibrate your monitor monthly, then click Save. Why recalibrate monthly? A monitor's light output continually degrades over time, as the monitor will dim from age. Monthly recalibration will incorporate these changes into the color profile to ensure your monitor continues to show standard color. Note, a recalibration takes only half the time as an initial calibration. Step 11. Review Results Click Next to review your calibration. By clicking the switch button, you can toggle between calibrated and uncalibrated view. Any of the 16 test images can be enlarged by clicking on them. Here you will see the impact of calibration on color, highlight, and shadow detail, as well as consistency for grays and whites. Click Next to see the color range, or gamut, of your monitor. This image will illustrate how closely your monitor is calibrated against a color industry standard, such as sRGB. If your computer has more than one monitor, you can click on Calibrate Another Display to run through the calibration process again. Step 12. Close down. Congratulations! You have now completed your first monitor calibration. Click Quit and the Spider 5 program closes, and your computer now uses the new monitor profile automatically, ensuring correct colors and the highest precision in your work. You will receive a monthly pop-up reminder on your computer to recalibrate. See the recalibration video for information on how to recalibrate. For further information on Spider 5 calibration products or to see how you can calibrate your camera and printer using products from Datacolor, please visit spider.datacolor.com. For further product support, please visit support.datacolor.com.